and complained then you are giving a room for the devil to take control of your family and slowly you will go into hunger and thirst and nakedness and lack of everything and therefore do everything for the lord do it happily do it joyfully and with gladness then god will protect you because it's a ministry you can make everything a ministry many people say father i want to serve in the retreat center and do the ministry of the lord my dear brothers and sisters being a good husband is a ministry of the lord being a good wife is a ministry of the lord being a good child is a ministry of the lord being a good driver is a ministry of the lord being giving your full into it and supporting and looking at everyone who whom you come across with a joyful heart and gladness and helping them and with their compassion then you are doing it for the lord if you are doing it for the lord it's a ministry maybe you are a nurse you are working in a hospital and you may get salary but if you do it for salary after some time you will get frustrated but if you do it for the lord you will get salary plus blessing of god bonus praise the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Therefore, let us read Colossians chapter 3 verse 24, 23 and 24. We I hope we read it both and let's read once again. Let us read once again. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 and 24. We read like this. Praise the Lord. Praise uh, hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever your task, put yourself Just into it. it. as That's done for the lord, lord and, and not, not for, for your, your masters, masters since, since you know, you know that from the was 24 continue reading well, uh, from the lord the you will receive, receive the inheritance, inheritance as your reward. reward if you put your whole heart into it if you do it for the lord the lord will give you a reward because you serve the lord jesus christ the lord will give you a reward this is what happened to peter God gave him a reward so God said okay Peter now it's your turn because you gave me the boat to sit here and preach the gospel now I'm going to give you a gift go let's read 20 uh, chapter 5 gospel of Luke chapter 5 verse 4 when he had finished speaking he said to Simon put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch praise the lord praise the lord and then Simon answered master we have worked all night long but have caught nothing praise the lord praise the lord he just explained what he is going through he said master what is it master is a special term used by saint luke master jesus master have mercy on me so there are many occasions saint luke mentions people addressing jesus as master 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 means the leader or the boss so what does it mean by telling jesus calling jesus master peter knows that jesus is a master and he is ready to take commands from him so peter is willing to take commands orders from him and say jesus you are master praise the lord praise the lord this is very interesting because before the miracle jesus peter calls him master but after the miracle jesus calls sorry peter calls jesus the lord so there is a conversion from being uh, looking at jesus as a master and then peter calls him my lord the lord is an address that term addressed only to god praise the lord praise hallelujah the lord. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so my dear brothers and sisters as you are listening to this preaching and the word of god you are reading and reflecting about it the lord is healing somebody who has got pain on your hand and somebody who has got an iron rod inside of your hand is also getting healed right now and there is also someone who has got pain on your right hand you are healed completely right now as you listen to the word of god praise the lord praise uh, the hallelujah lord. hallelujah so peter said jesus we have worked hard the whole night but got nothing and then he say yet if you say so i will let down the nets praise the lord praise the lord now we have to remember one thing who is peter and who is jesus peter is a fisherman he knows every detail of fishing jesus is has got no connection with the fishing he is not not a son of a fisherman he is a son of a carpenter 
the carpenter and fisherman no connection and jesus doesn't know anything about fishing and fisherman peter doesn't know anything about carpentry but when jesus said go on do this peter ta having taken a doctorate in fishing did not argue with jesus a carpenter who doesn't know anything about fishing he did not argue with him he said one one sentence he said if you say so i will let down according to your word your word is more important for me for your word i'm ready to do anything praise the lord praise so the lord. my dear brothers and sisters though the circumstances are not change the circumstances are not conducive for him but peter was ready to obey jesus because he believed in his word my dear brothers and sisters maybe our circumstances are against us circumstances may not be conducive for us we if you use a common sense there is no meaning in going and doing fishing now first of all peter could say jesus i know better than you therefore you you may be expert in spirituality but this one i am expert therefore you keep quiet peter could have said that secondly peter could have said jesus is easy to fish in at night not in the day time now it's day time we can't do that so you keep quiet or peter could have said jesus we finished up of fishing the whole night now we are tired i can't go more one more and my companions they are already cleaning the net i don't want to put the net again they will be angry with me so peter had so many excuses but he said let all my excuses aside if you say so i will obey my dear brothers and sisters when it come to spirituality you know the spirituality is not supposed to be restricted only in the church the spirituality should be applied in your in your business spirituality should be applied in your working area inside the church you are prayerful holy saying praise the lord hallelujah but do we have the same kind of spirituality in our working places do we have the same mentality of forgiving and compassion and mercy and desire to sacrifice our time energy for others in the working place inside the church we say lord i'm ready to sacrifice myself for you and the whole world but when we go outside we go and sacrifice others and this is what we do my dear brothers and sisters we need to apply the spirituality that we are preaching and listening which you are doing it inside the church should be continued and completed outside the church and this is what peter did though he was an innocent ordinary uneducated fisherman he knew this he said jesus i may be expert in everything you may not be so expert in this but i trust your word i just believe in your word therefore you command i will do it praise the lord so praise my dear brothers lord. and sisters when it if you are too too occupied preoccupied with your common sense than the word of god if you are too preoccupied with the the intellect that you have than the word of god it is very difficult for you to get the gift of time gifts and charisms of the holy spirit and miracles and wonders is very difficult praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah. The lord. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus uh, hallelujah hallelujah we read first corinthian chapter 2 verse 14 first corinthian chapter 2 verse 14 we read like this first corinthian chapter 2 verse 14 let us read those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of god spirit those who are unspiritual some are very spiritual when once they are inside the chapel but once they are outside they are not spiritual their behavior their attitude their language their communication everything has got no connection with jesus and the spirituality that we have in the chapel so my dear brothers and sisters such kinds of people is very difficult for them to get the gifts of the holy spirit those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of god spirit because the gifts of the holy spirit are supposed to be discerned by the spirit for they are foolishness to them that is why many people cannot believe in the gift of tongue they say it's all nonsense cannot believe in the gift of healing gift of miracle working and all those so called 
the supernatural manifestations they can't believe it they say it's all nonsense it's a business it's like this it's cheating it's magic and it is uh, all brain all nonsense things we say because we don't understand it bible says very clearly those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of god's spirit because they are foolishness to them my dear brothers and sisters if i don't understand certain things i have to look into the teaching of the bible and teaching of the church the church knows better than me therefore we have catechism of the catholic church we have the word of god the word of god and also the catechism of the catholic church promotes all kinds of the supernatural gifts those are not against these and therefore we should be humble enough to look into bible and the catechism of the catholic church then we will understand all what is happening around the world we should never judge anything just because our common sense and intellect cannot grasp it there are many things beyond our common sense and intellect therefore the bible says very clearly those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of the god spirit for they are foolishness to them and they are unable to understand them because these gifts are spiritually discerned these gifts should be spiritually discerned not intellectually discerned praise the lord praise hallelujah the lord. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus let us read ephesians chapter 6 verse 7 ephesians chapter 6 verse 7 we read like this Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 render service with enthusiasm when you do the ministry of the lord when you do a service in the presence of god maybe in whatever may be the capacity that you are into when you do the service with you do it with enthusiasm as to the lord and not to men and women do it for the lord not to the men and women praise the lord praise and the lord and now what what happened to peter we read Peter said Simon answered was 5 chapter 5 was 5 Simon answered master we have worked all night long but have caught nothing yet if you say so i will let down the nets we read isaiah 55 verse 11 isaiah 55 verse 11 we write, we read like this isaiah 55 verse 11 we read my word will never come back to me without any effect so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i purpose and succeed in the thing for which i sent the word of god is so powerful if, if you listen to the word of god it will happen god sends the word with a purpose if god says something just believe it blindly don't use your common sense and intellect too much in front of the word of god because it is see the same word of god called created your common sense it is the same word of god that created your intellect therefore the priority should be given to the word not my intellect or common sense praise the lord praise hallelujah the lord. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus and then let's read was 6 was 6 we read when they had done this they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break now it's very interesting now peter started casting the net they went into the sea once again and where is jesus jesus is sitting there jesus is sitting and watching the way peter is working hard and there is a smile on his face you know my dear brothers and sisters just is a beautiful scene to see jesus is sitting in one side of the boat and the other side peter is busy casting the net and collecting the fish and looking at the fish and rejoicing and happy and jesus is calmly looking at it and smiling my dear brothers and sisters it's so beautiful to have jesus in your boat when you are working hard and it's so so beautiful to see jesus looking at you working hard and jesus is smiling when he is you are working hard just imagine you are jesus a lord jesus is there in your home when you are cooking in the kitchen and jesus is looking at you the way you are cooking the way you are collecting the things the way you are putting and the way you are washing the feet with the washing the plates so jesus is watching and looking and smiling 
any work maybe you are a nurse you are working in the hospital just imagine jesus is there in your boat watching you looking smiling and you are doing this work i remember when i was very small me and my brother brothers and we used to play outside in the courtyard and sometimes we we work we uh, we play and sometimes our father and mother they both come and sit there and watch when they come and sit there watch then we are our enthusiasm is doubled we are so happy and after every smash we are suppose we are playing some shuttlecock then you uh, after every smash we look at our mother and father how they look at are they happy after every performance we slowly look at because when they are happy when they smile we are more happy so this is how what happens if you are aware that there is somebody sitting in a boat your jesus is sitting your in your boat and watching you working hard then your whole attitude towards the work will be different the way you work will be different the way you work hard will be different and always remember invite jesus in every hard work that is why we have a tradition when we start having our food even before our food we make the blessing and we we make the sign of the cross and pray after the food even before you start driving you make the sign of the cross and invite the presence of god any work that you do maybe you are work you are working for salary do it with a prayer you are inviting jesus to watch you that to will change your whole attitudes towards the work you are consecrating your work you are purifying your work and this is wonderful my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah lord. hallelujah that is our tradition that is the christian tradition we never do any work without the sign of the cross we are not supposed to do any work without the sign of the cross and we should never end it without the sign of the cross any work you do maybe it's a small work even washing even taking bath before the taking bath if possible bless the water bless the thing they are you are going to use it and when you do it you are consecrating it you are purifying yourself and you are inviting jesus into that act and that will be so beautiful because jesus is watching you looking at you and smiling so this is very important you imagine the way jesus is smiling when peter is working hard and on one side of the boat praise the lord praise hallelujah the lord. hallelujah and then they got enough and more fish from where did this fish come this fish was already in the lake and when they were working hard the whole night they got nothing now when they obeyed jesus all the fish were inside the boat so inside the net not outside the net but at night when they were without jesus all the fish were there but outside the net not inside the net not even one what does it mean even the fish is also preaching the fish is also preaching to the disciples what did the fish preach the fish said oh peter or oh john james and andrew yesterday you came to catch us but we were not ready to listen to you because you never listened to god listen to jesus today you are doing it at the command of our master who created us therefore we will willingly surrender ourselves to you my dear brothers and sisters every creature in this world has got a gospel to preach your business has got a gospel to preach if you are obedient they will be obedient to you if you are obedient to god your business will be obedient to you every work that you entrust every work you do will be successful because they will be obedient to you your shop you are anything that you run any business you do they will be obedient to you because you are obedient to the, the creator who created them too praise the lord Praise hallelujah the hallelujah so this is the special preaching the fish did in front of peter and all the other disciples praise the lord praise so the my lord. dear brothers and sisters this world is also preaching to you through these created things there is a message for you through these created things there is a message for you let us read romans chapter 1 romans chapter 1 verse 19 romans chapter 1 verse 19 we read like this in the word of god for what can be known about god is plain to them because god has shown it to them was 20 ever since the creation of the world his eternal power and divine nature invisible though they are how been understood how been understood continue how been understood 
for for though they no praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah the lord. hallelujah ever since the creation of the world is eternal power and divine nature invisible though they are have been understood and seen mm. through, through the things, things he, he has, has made. made praise the lord Praise All the these things are God is also preaching to you not only through the preachers and priests and others but also through these created things even the fish was preaching the gospel to Peter praise the lord praise the and lord and this fish is also preaching a gospel to you and me my dear brothers and sisters if you are not obedient to God then we will not be obedient to you this is what the fish is preaching to you but if you are ready to listen to Jesus we will come willingly surrender not one or two but all of us even beyond the capacity of your net this is the great preaching the fish did praise the lord praise let's the kindly lord. lift up your right hand and say hallelujah hallelujah thank you father thank you father thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you holy hallelujah. spirit hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you father praise you father praise you father hallelujah 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 praise the lord praise the lord and then continue reading let's read it fast so verse 6 uh, when they had done this they caught so many fish chapter 5 verse 6 When they had done this they caught so many fish that their nets, nets were beginning were to break. break so they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them and they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink praise the lord praise every the lord. time when god gives you a special blessing don't ever think it is only meant for you it is meant for others too any richness any prosperity Don't be so selfish in keeping only for yourself. Half of it is meant for others. Praise the Lord. Praise the, the church Lord. is so lenient many times saying only tenth, one tenth. But in today's gospel, half of it belongs to the other partners. Who are the partners? The whole world. We are all, they are all spiritual partners. Any blessing, we are supposed to share it with others. That is why the church always encourages us with alms giving. and sacrifice and helping the poor and helping the widows but why because god gives you not just only for yourself but also for others god will give you up in abundance but not for alone for you alone say sometimes if we have a tendency i got enough lots of blessing but if somebody come and take it we'll get angry with them and say it is mine don't touch it this attitude will not work in the presence of god our god is the master not only of mine but also of others if he has given me anything it's not only mine it's also about for others this should be an attitude of christianity this should be the attitude of christians and peter had this attitude therefore when he got enough and more in the net he called all these partners and said take it you also take it and he shared with everyone praise the lord praise and the jesus lord. was so happy about it and that's why jesus said you are chosen praise the lord praise continue the lord. reading verse 7 wait verse 8 but when simon peter saw it he fell down he fell down at jesus knee saying go away from me lord i am a sinful man now G- peter is calling jesus lord not master anymore he is higher that lord is higher than master and says go away from me i am a sinner when he came to know i am standing in front of god then he came to know one more thing he is a sinner if you know god is here the second thought that you will have is i am a sinner my dear brothers and sisters when you sat, stand in the presence of god and pray if you don't feel i am a sinner remember you don't believe in god though you are kneeling down and praying you are not believing in god if you truly in truly in truth if you really believe you are standing in front of the almighty god the next moment you will cry with your repenting of your sinners that is why the pharisee who came in the in the temple and prayed lord i am not like this this samaritan i am not like him i am a perfect man what does it mean he made himself god he never believed in any god 
but these samaritan the the the, the outcast the untouchable one he cried loudly and said i am unworthy the tax collectors and all these people they cried and said i am unworthy they came to know i am standing in front of the almighty god therefore they remembered their unworthiness if you are believing that you are standing in front of god then you will feel your unworthiness praise the lord and praise he the lord. and then they, he made a mistake he made a mistake out of too much of fear he said lord i'm a so sinner i'm a big sinner please go away from me then jesus said my son don't be afraid stop being af- fearful stop being fearful do not be afraid means stop being fearful in my presence is good to have the uh, repentance but fear that unnecessary fear of getting rid of me it is not good for you there are many people they are afraid of god they say i am an unworthy man i am a sinner therefore i don't want to go to god i don't want to go for confession because i am committing sin again and again i am committing the same sin why should i go for confession again and confess the same sin no god says do not stop being fearful come to me i have come in search of sinners you cannot get rid of me or you cannot go away from me i have come in search of only for you praise the lord praise the hallelujah lord. hallelujah so let's all close our eyes my dear brothers and sisters there are lots of things for us to learn from these bible passages if we go on reflecting about these we have so many wonders so many messages so many treasures in every passage of the word of god your whole life will be changed if you really and truly start reading the word of god and listen to the truth and therefore start that is why from divine reti center we are encouraging you to start reading bible from gospel of matthew every day three chapters each and continue reading you will never be disappointed praise the lord a hallelujah and the more you know jesus the more you will fall in love with him let's close our eyes and sing together the offer to him and offer all our intentions on this altar and as we pray together and offer every all our family members in a special way let us pray for uh, europe as we celebrate feast of saint gregory the great who initiated so many evangelization ministries around the world and he was great that's why he is called saint gregory the great let us ask his intercession for the re-evangelization of Europe. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church 
Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by you cross and resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from evil amen deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. to the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not, not worthy, worthy that you that should you under, under my roof, roof. but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed may the body and blood of christ keep me safe for eternal life amen my dear brothers and sisters let us pray the spiritual communion prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. never permit me to be separated from you amen
This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master send us let's go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we would like to thank all of you for joining us every day for this live streaming Adoration Holy Mass. And we also pray in case of any, uh, we have so many channels uh, from Divinity Center the Divine UK YouTube channel, and there are also two, three other channels, so you can watch any of those channels. In case anyone who, uh, in between, it, if it get disconnected, sometimes it happens, unfortunately, uh, because of various unexpected, unknown reasons. So in case if it happens, please, when you get the new link, please share it with all your friends and family members and everyone whom you know that they must be watching. So it will be a great help for them so that they won't be disconnected. So, uh, and also we thank you for all your um, support, especially in your rosary, that you are joining with the uh, reciting rosary, extra rosary, so many rosaries for the world evangelization. Please continue to do that. We only reached a small percentage of what we are planning to reach out. So one million rosaries out of which 43,000 is already covered. So please continue reciting rosaries after rosaries. Even when you travel, when you work, when you do something silently in your mind, you can recite the holy rosary. Rosary is a very powerful weapon against the powers of darkness. And Mother Mary's intercession is so powerful in this most modern world and that is God's gift so please use it powerfully and you will see the miracle and you, God will be using you specially because you are contributing a lot just like Peter contributed by giving his own uh, boat for the service of the Lord and for the evangelization ministry God gave a mighty gift uh, back to him and he is made the Pope of his church the same way if you uh, do hum work hard for the evangelization by praying for the evangelization, reciting rosaries after rosaries, God will use you for his ministry. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Let us pray for all the priests around the world and uh, as all the religious, all the nuns and everyone as we pray this prayer. Oh Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, priest, keep, keep your, your priests priest within the, the shelter, shelter of your heart, your heart where none, none may harm them. them. Keep and stay in the anointed hands which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moisten with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God 
may be, be blessed, blessed with, with abundant, abundant fruits. fruits and may the one whom they serve be the, be the source, source of joy to them, to them here on earth and, and in, in heaven, heaven the eternal crown, crown. Let, let them be eager to be with you to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one lord give your church holy priests and religious and lay leaders Jesus, Redeemer of the world, keep pure your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests, pray for your priests. Saint Alphonse, pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England, pray for England. O Holy Family, keep our families pure and holy. My dear brothers and sisters, if anybody wants to have priests from your families, please make sure to have this prayer for priest every day in your family, and always speak good of the priest, and then you will be blessed with priests from your families. Let pray for Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, Archangel def defend us in the day of battle. battle. Be our safeguard safe against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Psalm 91. You, you who live in the shelter of the Most High, who, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His unfaithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver, I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them, I will be with them in trouble. I will, I will rescue, rescue them and honor them. them. With, With long, long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. salvation. Now let's all kindly kneel down in front of the Blessed Sacrament and welcome Jesus into our midst. And as we bow down, let's receive the blessing of our Lord Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Let's all bow down in front of our Lord Jesus. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.